Okay, hello there boys and girls. Good morning. Uh, today we're going to talk about an issue that has occurred with PayPal over the last several months. I don't know exactly when it started. Uh, the problem is that when you try to log into PayPal, it will not let you log in without uh, inputting a cellular phone number. Let's go ahead and see what we're talking about here. Go to PayPal. Okay, here's PayPal. I have a little piece of paper here uh, taped up to the screen. That's because my email address uh, has my real name in it, so I prefer not to show it. So I use a piece of paper to cover it up. So let's go ahead and see if we can log into PayPal. You go up here to the upper right, it says log in. Okay, you've seen that before. Boom, here we go. Your email will likely self populate. Okay, and we type in the password. And this is what we get. Okay, we have a little bit of a blurb here. Now, what's happening here is that PayPal is demanding that you give it a cellular phone number, like a mobile number. Uh, this little bit right here is an old number. I don't even have it anymore. Okay, now I choose not to give PayPal my mobile number. You may choose not to give them your mobile, or in fact, you may not have one. Whatever the reason is, whatever the cause is, um, if you don't want to give them your mobile number or you're un unable to give it to them, you're stuck because PayPal will not let you log on. You got stuff down here. You got change, confirm this number, uh, call with a code. There's a bunch of garbage there, but you'll find that no matter what you do, PayPal will not let you log in without a mobile number. What can you do? Okay, <clears throat> well, there is a way around it. Now, to get into PayPal using the backdoor method, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Wikipedia. www.wikipedia.org. Keep in mind, it's O-R-G, not C-O-M. Okay? Now, you have, uh, as Wikipedia, you got your languages. Um, I'm assuming you speak English if you're watching this video, so click on English. Okay, there's Wikipedia. Okay, now, um, we still have that piece of paper up. We'll leave it there for now. Now, over here on the left, you'll see you have the big globe, you have Wikipedia. You go down a little bit, and you see where it says Donate. Click on Donate. Okay, over here on the right, there's various amounts that you can donate. What we're going to do is we're going to make a fake donation. Okay, we're not actually going to donate any money. We're just going to use this as a method of getting to PayPal. Uh, I do actually donate to Wikipedia. Uh, you'll see that when we get into my account there. But So I don't feel guilty using them as a backdoor to get into PayPal. So let's just say we're going to make a fake $5 donation. Just click on $5 there. Okay. You get a blurb, I'll generously add 35 cents to cover the transaction fees. No, it doesn't matter, it's fake anyway. Go down to PayPal. Okay, here we go. This is similar to the screen we have before. Okay, my email address is covered. That'll self-populate. Uh, let's go ahead now and type in a password. Okay, there's the password. Now, what you get is a little unusual. What this is, it's a page that will allow you to donate to Wikipedia. We've pledged $5, which actually we're not going to pay, but okay. So it's like you're sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of logged into PayPal, but not really. All this page will let you do is donate to Wikipedia, you're not actually logged into PayPal. So what we're going to do is go over here and make another browser page. Now go back to PayPal. Okay, and boom, we are in. Let me go ahead and get rid of this piece of paper now. Okay, so that is my normal PayPal account. Okay, this here 
This is the page of our fake Wikipedia donation. We're not going to make that donation, so click it away. Okay, so this now is my actual uh, PayPal account. You see uh, my balance there. I'm a rich guy, but I can do anything I want to do. This is the normal login. Now over here, to, to avoid confusion, you see it says Wikipedia Foundation, $10. Okay, that's an actual donation that I made two days ago, August 14th. So that's real. Okay, The fake donation that we made for $5 a few minutes ago, that does not appear here. That's fake. We never actually made the donation. No money comes out of the account. So you don't have to worry about losing any money doing this. Uh, the money will not come out of your account. That was a fake donation. So now I'm in. I can do whatever I want. Okay, I can log out. Keep in mind, though, that now that this is a Windows machine, I'm not sure if an Apple machine works the same way. I think they have a different browser, but, uh, but this definitely works uh, for a Windows-based system. Okay, that's about all I have for right now. Thank you very, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a wonderful day.